Hi, John Maxwell here. Uh, welcome with Men with Maxwell. I would like to talk to you for a moment about uh, putting expectations on the front end. Uh, I just am in this room and I just finished talking to uh, about a dozen of our John Maxwell Company facilitators who do a lot of corporate training. It's an annual meeting with them. It's a very important meeting. And I wanted them to see the next year with clear expectations of what was on my mind. You see, when I was a young leader, I used to try to, quote, ease into my expectations of people. I thought after several meetings, I could kind of maybe deliver to them what I really wanted from them. One of the leadership lessons I learned in my maturing and growing is set expectations on the front end. Right out front, say, this is what I expect. And then you give them clarity and confidence to go forward. That's exactly what I did. I shared with them what my passion was. And uh, what I was doing there is I was setting the feeling that I wanted them to have as they represent me in workshops, corporate events, that it's more than not just knowledge, but it's also how you sense and feel things. So I talked to them about my passion and then I gave them the application, what does that mean to you? Four things I shared with them that that would mean to them, that they could be in, begin to share what my heart was and also help the companies that we work with. It was, a, it was a great meeting. And I think it was a great meeting because I went into it knowing that uh, we have a year in front of us and that the clearer I was on the front end, the better they're going to be throughout the year. I didn't want them kind of trying to figure out where I was or what I was thinking or where we were going. And I would just suggest to you that you want to do the very same thing. Set expectations on the, the front end. And after you do that, then you have given clarity to the people that you lead and they can go out and fulfill those expectations. I hope you enjoyed today's Minute with Maxwell.